Hi, uh, good morning and welcome back. Today let's learn about how the catalytic converters work, how the chemical reaction in a catalytic converter is happening. So if you don't know what's a catalytic converter and brief about it, the function of the catalytic converter is to reduce the amount of the half-full pollutants going outside an automobile. So this is an automobile, we have the engine and this is the exhaust stream, the exhaust gas has been pushed out. There will be hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide and nitrous oxides coming out of the exhaust. So we have a catalytic converter located over here, okay, which reduces the harmful components that's the carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons into less harmful pollutants. So that's what a catalytic converter is doing to reduce the effect of global warming due to the harmful pollutants being pushed out by an automobile. So now let's see how they exactly work. So this is the catalytic converter and this catalytic converter is uh, co composed of metals like the platinum, the rhodium and also palladium. So these are the three metals commonly used in catalytic reactions. There are three stages of reaction or chemical reaction happening in a catalytic converter. It's the stage one. Stage one is a reduction catalytic reaction which is happening. So here platinum and rhodium are playing their part what they do is they reduce the amount of NOx, the amount of nitrous oxide being coming out of an exhaust is being reduced. So we have nitrogen oxide and nitrogen dioxide. So they are the NOx. Okay, the NOx are being reduced. So 2NO is reduced into N2, nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen. 2NO2 is reduced to nitrogen dioxide plus 2O2 so you can see the nitrogen oxide that's nitrogen monoxide or the nitrogen dioxide is been reduced into nitrogen and oxygen here you can see the nitrogen dioxide is divided into nitrogen and oxygen so nitrogen oxide that's nitrogen monoxide or nitrogen dioxide is a very harmful component and nitrogen is not a harmful component to that amount our air has about 78 percentage of nitrogen so that's how the nitrogen monoxide and the nitrogen dioxide, the harmful component is being reduced. What platinum or rhodium is doing is that it divides the nitrogen and oxygen and keep hold on the nitrogen and leaves the oxygen towards the exhaust. Again this nitrogen is being com uh, combined with N plus N to give N2. So here you can see that's how uh, the N2 is being coming over here and the oxygen is being released. So that's the stage 1. Let's go to the stage 2. Stage 2, we have two metals playing the role that is platinum and palladium. They create an oxidization reaction or they catalyze an oxidization reaction. What they do is they oxidize the hydrocarbons, the harmful hydrocarbons and the harmful carbon monoxide. Here you can see the carbon monoxide over here plus oxygen and oxidization reaction is happening and they are converted into less harmful carbon dioxide. So the harmful carbon monoxide oxidizes with the oxygen to give a less harmful carbon dioxide. So the same way the hydrocarbons are also converted into H2O, that's water vapor, by an oxidization reaction, that's the stage 2. So here we have NOx have been reduced to nitrogen oxygen, hydrocarbons or carbon monoxide reduced to uh, water vapor or carbon dioxide. So the harmful components are going to be reduced in the two stages. And the third stage, we have a control system which has a computer, an intelligent computer which helps to assist the engine. And what it does is that the exhaust stream is being monitored by this computer and uses this information to control the injection system which eventually controls the uh, fuel ratio, the air fuel ratio, the stoichiometric air fuel ratio will be maintained with the help of this information. You can see oxygen sensor is located upstream of the converter. Here we have an oxygen sensor. Here this is an oxygen sensor which is located at the upstream of the converter. Senses the amount of oxygen in the exhaust gas. What it does is that if only we have enough amount of oxygen in the exhaust gas it can be used for the oxidization reaction further. It combines with the carbon monoxide or hydrocarbons to convert into carbon dioxide or water vapor. So this helps to maintain the stoichiometric air fuel ratio which controls the injection system and also this oxygen, if we have enough oxygen, it creates an oxidation reaction to convert the hydrocarbons and 
the carbon monoxide into less harmful components like carbon dioxide and water vapor. So that's how the chemical reaction is happening in a catalytic converter. If you like this video, please click the like button or do drop a comment. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.